Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, square ABCD along with these uh, two perpendicular line segments uh, EF and DF as you can see in this given diagram. And as a result, we are ended up with uh, two shaded region. This is our yellow shaded region. And this one is our green shaded region and moreover the area of this uh, yellow shaded region has been given to us as 117 centimeter square and furthermore uh, this segment uh, a e equal to this segment uh, b e and this uh, segment uh, e f equal to this segment uh, d f and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. I'm going to label uh, this segment uh, AE as uh, lowercase a. Then this segment uh, EB is going to be lowercase a as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see this uh, whole uh, side AB length uh, is going to be A plus A is going to give us uh, two times uh, A. And if uh, this side AB is uh, two times uh, A and we are dealing with this uh, blue square. So this side has got to be two times A, two times uh, A and two times A across the board. And furthermore, uh, I'm going to label uh, this segment uh, EF uh, as uh, X. Then this segment uh, DF is going to be X as well. And in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, these two vertices uh, D and uh, E. And as a result, we are ended up with these two right triangles. Uh, this uh, right triangle uh, EAD. And this uh, other right triangle uh, EFD. In other words, uh, we have divided this uh, yellow shaded region into two right uh, triangles. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle EAD. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is. Uh, d e length and our two other legs are lowercase a and two times a let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so we got uh, a square plus uh, two times a whole square equals to I, our hypotenuse is d e square let's simplify that is going to give us uh, a square plus 4 times a square equals to d e square. So therefore, d e square is going to be equal to 5 times a square. And now I'm going to undo the square on both sides by taking the square root. So therefore, our this d e segment length is going to be positive a times square root of 5. So therefore we can see that our this segment d e length turns out to be a times square root of 5. And now we are going to focus on this other right triangle EFT. And we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square where our uh, hypotenuse is uh, a times square root of 5 whereas our two other legs are uh, x uh, and x let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so we are going to have uh, x square plus uh, x square equals to our hypotenuse is uh, a times uh, square root of 5 whole square Let's simplify. We are going to get uh, 2x square is going to be equal to 5 times uh, a square. And now I am going to divide uh, 
both sides by 2 and here we can see our x square value simply turns out to be 5 a square divided by 2 and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, yellow shaded region area equals to the sum of uh, these two triangle areas the triangle ead area plus the triangle efd area as well so therefore we are going to calculate the area of this triangle ead and the area of this other triangle efd as well so therefore now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, EAD and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times base times the height of the triangle and in our case uh, the base of this triangle is uh, lowercase a the height is 2 times a so therefore the area of this triangle uh, EAD is going to be a half uh, times uh, a times uh, 2 times uh, a and if we simplify that is going to give us simply a square so thus the area of this uh, triangle ead turns out to be a square and now we are going to calculate the area of this other right triangle efd as well and we are going to be using the very same area of a triangle formula once again area equals to a half uh, times base times the height and in our case uh, the base uh, and the height uh, of this triangle is x so therefore the area of this triangle uh, efd is going to be a half uh, times our base is x uh, and the height is uh, x as well so therefore this is going to become 1 divided by 2 times uh, x square and now we know our x square value in terms of a square is 5 times a square divided by 2. So I'm going to substitute that value over here. So therefore uh, I could write it down as 1 divided by 2 times our x square value is 5 a square divided by 2. Let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 5 times uh, a square divided by 4 so thus the area of this uh, other triangle EFD turns out to be 5a square divided by 4 and now let's recall this uh, equation once again the yellow shaded region uh, area equals to the triangle uh, EAD area plus the area of the other triangle EFD and we know our this uh, yellow shaded region area has been given to us as 117 centimeters square so i'm going to substitute 117 over here and we also figured out our triangle ead area as a square and the other triangle efd area as 5a square divided by 4. let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so we got 117 equals to a square plus uh, 5 times uh, a square divided by 4 and now I am going to remove this fraction by multiplying by 4 across uh, the board uh, by multiplying each and every term so therefore we can see 4 times 117 is going to give us uh, 468 equals to 4 times uh, a square this 4 and 4 is gone so we are ended up uh, plus 5a uh, square. Let's combine these uh, like terms. So we are going to have a 9 times uh, a square equal to 468. And now we are going to divide both sides by 9. So this 9 and 9 is gone. So therefore our a square value turns out to be 52 and now let's make an observation once again uh, the green shaded region area is going to be equal to the area of the blue square minus uh, the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, region and we know the yellow shaded region area has been given to us as uh, 117 so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate uh, the area of this uh, blue square and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue square uh, ABCD. 
and now let's recall the area of a square formula area is always equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square and in our case uh, the side length of this uh, blue square is uh, 2 times a so therefore uh, this blue square area is going to be 2 times a whole square so therefore uh, that is going to give us uh, 4 times uh, a square and now we know that our uh, a square value is 52 so I'm going to replace this uh, a square uh, with 52 over here so therefore we can write down 4 times uh, 52 and that is going to give us uh, 208 so thus the area of this uh, blue square ABCD turns out to be 208 uh, centimeter square and here's our final step let's recall this equation once again the green shaded region area is going to be equal to the blue square area minus the yellow shaded region area and we already figured out our uh, blue square area is 208 and our uh, yellow shaded region area is 117 let's go ahead and fill in the blank so this is going to give us uh, 208 minus uh, 117 and if we subtract that is going to give us uh, 91 centimeter square so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the green shaded region area turns out to be 91 centimeter square in other words uh, this uh, green shaded area is equal to 91 centimeter square and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye